Hello, my name is Mike Prom. In this video, I'm going to be showcasing Mudbox with a little inspiration I had from a TV show last week. Look at this car inside of Autodesk Showcase. Check out the realism as I rotate the car around, how the lights, the shadows, everything moves. Let's take it to the next step and put it into a 3D environment. Notice again when I rotate this around how everything real time updates and changes. What this does is it allows me to get that photorealistic effect with this car. Changing the car color to blue, allowing me to see a little more contrast since so the environment was very white. But you know something seems to be missing from this. Uh, I really think if I had a, a person or something standing next to this car, it'd really give it a little more realism to this. I think what I'm going to do is open up our this mud box here and uh, start playing around with some design. Now, with mud box, I'm actually able to come in and start building up a model like a clay figure. You can see all the different tools I have across the, the bottom there. Uh, but, you know, sculpt, uh, and come in here and add some abs to this model, maybe look a little like, make it look a little bit like myself here. Nice uh, rock hard pecs, uh, build up the shoulders, you know, get rid of the neck, uh, build up the, the muscles a little bit more. You can also see that I have stencils. Uh, I'm be able to, in this program, uh, fool around with the, not only the clay model, uh, but the coloring and the, the shading of this model as well. As you can see here, what I'm first doing is just building up, uh, adding a little more defining features instead of just being a basic human, you know, make it maybe look a little more like a man. Uh, also, uh, these basic shapes are a little rough and bumpy. Using some other uh, tools I have available to me, I can actually pinch, pull, smooth this out. And you can see here how much more realistic that looks. Uh, maybe come in and add some, some veins to this, uh, give it kind of one more last step of realism once those veins are added, I, I can smooth those out as well. You know, looking at this, it, it sort of reminds me of my, my boy Polly D, and uh, yeah, I, I think I'm actually going to start turning this into a, a model of Polly D. Now you ask, how can I do something like that? Very simple. Uh, these stencils I have available, I can actually import images. Now, you know, that looks great, Mike, that's an, that's an image on there, but you know, what that is that going to do for me? A watch, shall I come in and just grab my sculpt tool and, and start shading? And, and when I'm shading, it's grabbing the actual texture from that image where you can see I just projected his hair on there by sculpting the image of his hair onto his model. Now, with that same sense, I can actually use that for coloring as well. So I can take color from the image. And you can see uh, I'm just grabbing some skin tones of poly there. And then uh, we're going to grab our paint mode. And we're going to give them a nice, nice even spray tan here. So I'm going to just come in and uh, spray them over with a little bit of tan. Looks good. Now it might be a little dark, but you know I, I can adjust this all uh, with some lighting later. And now that i got the front done, I'm just going to move to the back. Very similar to what I did before. I'm actually just going to come in and uh, grab a stencil. In the stencil, I'll grab another image, grab it from the back. Now, first, I'm going to start off the hair and, and build up the model, and we'll go to the tattoos later. Um, now, what you're seeing here with this image, I can actually you know, move the model around. Something not else that's really nice with Mudbox is that I have the capability of uh, moving around the stencil as well. So you can see I can rotate it, uh, scale it, move it where it is proper. Uh, not only for the back, but I can reuse some of those textures for the top as well. And uh, smooth this out, add a little here, take a little bit there, kind of you know, virtually haircutting them here. And uh, until I get the model looking pretty good. Yeah, I like that. It looks looks nice. Now, I had stated that uh, last stencil there, I also had the image of his back. You know, Polly here, he has all the nice tattoos, uh, large, covering his whole back, so we can uh, just use those and paste or paint those uh, onto my model. In a very similar fashion uh, that I did with the hair, it's actually just uh, painting on the coloring there to his back. Now, with Mudbox, what this feature can do is it actually projects image onto your figure and with that you can see as the tattoo goes uh, across the back there or the one in the middle it actually wraps it to the image so we're getting a very realistic image this is just such a great tool uh, Mudbox you know came from uh, people that were making character designs for you know some of the games that we love um, this now what I'm doing here just the model very similar specs you know those guys are awesome they take it to the next level but you can see you know, I'm just grabbing moving some stencils around and a couple more uh, tattoos on each side. Um, but this first video in the series, you know, I'm just building a simple character. And my hopes are with a continued video showing you how a 
program like Mudbox can be used in uh, consumer products as well. Um, now I got those other two tattoos on here. You know, one big thing I'm missing is the Cadillac tattoo. So I'm going to add that last tattoo here. Again, watch how I can rotate, scale, uh, move my stencil in the proper location, and then just come in and uh, project the image onto the, the clay model that I have here. Now, as I'm uh, continuing on with these steps, you can notice the, the amount of realism uh, that this program allows you to achieve with the, just a, a simple clay model. These tools, the, the ease of use, you know, I don't have a lot of experience with this, guys. Now, it looks good, but it's a... Now, the next step here is to come in and put some more of those defining features onto the face. Now, what I'm going to be doing is, uh, again, rotating my model around, rotating my image around. You notice how... Something as simple as eyebrows, you know, uh, beyond the, just those schedules by looking at a picture, uh, really is something that's tough to get close. But by reusing images inside of Mudbox, I can actually get the actual eyebrow lines that I have here. And once I have those eyebrows on, I can switch over to my painting mode and uh, just project those on here as well. Now, eyebrows I did by reusing the stencil. Uh, maybe let's take a look at, at eyes without using the stencil. Now. When I'm going through this process, the really nice thing about using a program like Mudbox is that I'm able to adjust not only the size of my brush, in this case adding the material, but you can also uh, adjust how much or how abrupt. So do I want those to be really tough or deep lines or if I want them to be nice and smooth. Uh, so I do a subtle uh, increase of clay on my model. Just really allows you to build those up and then tweak them to something that starts to look better and better. Now you can see that the default model just has uh, some basic lips and I'm actually going to use my uh, scrape tool to kind of get rid of some of that and then I'm going to build up around the outer part of the lips here just to continue on um, with this face. Now with that done, uh, finishing up some more of the coloring, again projecting and an image I've been doing so far just for the right area, but I can actually rotate, so rotate this around and keep using that hair color, which just allows me to have a nice even color uh, through this whole model. Now, I'm not sure what you guys think so far, but it's really starting to look a little more, more like Polly, and I think this is uh, looking very good. If I zoom out here, uh, yeah, I think I got most of the key features done. Got all the tattoos on here. Uh, looking at this, so you might need some clothes. Uh, with Mudbox, I can actually just continue to build up uh, and make more of these models. And what I'm going to do is just add uh, a clay box here. And what I'm going to do is um, take this box, shrink it, get it close to the amount of size I, I think it should be for shorts. And then I can actually come in and just like I did with adding material, I can sculpt. And, and I did those did that um, quickly here and fast forward on so you can see my end result. Now I got poly blue shorts. I want to take this and bring it to showcase. How do I do that? Simply select the model. I can do a simple export. And since both of these are actually Autodesk programs, once I export this, I can actually just do a simple import right into showcase. Now with this done, look at the quality of the image I have here. And with Showcase, I can actually um, position this just like I would with my car model. So I can flip them on the other side of the car, check out the tattoos, look at the lights, the shadows from the environments, how they reflect onto him and his clothes. I could make changes to the colors, rotate this around. I really think this is a nice, compelling image uh, that I could show a customer, you know, more than just a car, adding a person uh, that I've created in Mudbox really kind of gives it that last little step of realism that I've, I've added to this model. Now, with this done, uh, I'm going to wrap it up this video, but everybody stay tuned. Next week, I think I'm going to put Polly in the car and uh, add one of his friends, Snooky, and just uh, continue on with this design products with Creative Tool Mudbox. Thank you.